In this section, we're going to be working with OLE objects in ETAP. Let's go to the Edit menu and insert a new object. From this menu, you can either create a new OLE object or select one from a file. Some of the documents you can include are Word documents, spreadsheets, etc. We're going to select a one-line legend, which is a Word document. Once the OLE object is inserted, you can drag or position it on the one-line diagram as you please. The properties of the OLE objects are set up for easy access. You can change the scale of the OLE object to make it larger or smaller. By double clicking on the OLE object, you can directly change its text or graphics. You can also make immediate changes to the date, revision number, file name, and so on. Once you're done with the changes, you can go to File, Menu in Microsoft Word, and select the option Close and Return to Study View. The OLE object will now be updated with the changes that were made. Now, you can also create brand new OLE objects from the object type. For example, you can select Microsoft Word document. If you have Microsoft Word installed, a blank document will be created in which you can type in any text you like or insert graphics. In this case, we'll select a lion. As you can see, you can position it anywhere on the document you please. 